Welcome back to the Veteran Game Channel, Dear Gaming Aficionados. Today, we're delving into a jewel of RPGs, The Legend of Heroes, Trails into Reverie. This game is the Avengers, end game of RPGs, amassing characters and stories from the extensive Trails series. With a complex, politically engaging narrative and a strategic turn-based gameplay, it's easily one of the standout RPGs of 2023. The story unfolds through three different routes, each centered on a unique protagonist. This switch in perspectives breathes freshness into the plot and keeps the revelations coming. Familiar Trails hero, Reen Swartzer, is given a more focused story arc, proving a redemption from the somewhat convoluted plot in Cold Steel 4. The second protagonist, Lloyd Bannings, rehashes the tale of Crossbill's independence from the trails from Zero and Trails to Azure, which can feel a bit repetitive. However, the newly introduced character, C, brings an intriguing mix of personalities, delivering the most engaging story. You have the liberty to switch between the three main characters at any point using the Trails to Walk system. Although the game manages to spotlight each character adequately, the massive cast of over 50 characters can be overwhelming, even for seasoned Trails fans. Given the density of characters and their intertwined stories, newcomers might find Trails into Reverie somewhat daunting. Therefore, it is highly recommended to play all of the other games before Trails into Reverie to fully appreciate the intricacies of the story. The battle system of Trails into Reverie is a masterclass in design. It retains the turn-based tradition of Trails, with up to four party members fighting on the battlefield and others providing support. The free roam based battlefield, the turn order timeline management, and the use of specific attacks called crafts all add to the tactical richness of the battles. Moreover, Trails into Reverie brings a customization level that RPG fans will adore. You can build out your characters as per your preferences, focusing on evasion, healing, magic, or any other role you can imagine. Graphically, the game holds its ground. The character models have seen a substantial improvement from the previous Trails games, and they now move less stiffly. The soundtrack, too, enhances the gaming experience, with each protagonist having a different battle theme. An interesting addition to the game is the inclusion of costumes, not affecting the stats, but simply adding a fun dress-up element to the game. Moreover, you can earn costume items by playing through Reverie's main story, fulfilling side quests, or through a randomized dungeon called the Reverie Corridor. This strange dimension serves as a hub where all characters can interact and grow without impacting the main story. Despite the Reverie Corridor feeling somewhat out of place in the story, it introduces a significant amount of post-game content. More stratums, extra story context, a final post-game boss, and an additional ending all contribute to a satisfying conclusion to the combined series. In conclusion, The Legend of Heroes, Trails into Reverie stands as a glorious crown to the almost 20-year-old franchise. Although the overall story might feel familiar, its impeccable pacing, in-depth battle system, and well-utilized character ensemble make it a satisfying finale to the Crossbell and Cold Steel arcs. Despite the initial overwhelm for newcomers, the intricate RPG universe it presents makes the journey through the previous games well worth it. Stay tuned for more reviews, and as always, keep gaming.